Hey guys, it's Dan the Medic. Welcome to the channel. Today I'm over here at La La Noodles at the Park MGM, which is kind of like you gotta walk through this here Italy. And once you get through this very nice looking Italy, you just walk in towards the back, make a slight left, and then you see this beautiful restaurant that's a long noodle bar. All right. Hello. So, hi, how are you? Uh, yes. My name is Liang Wobby Server today. Okay. Yes. Do you have any questions on the menu? No questions. You ready? I can take your order. Oh, not yet. I All just right. opened the menu. Alright. Oh, do you need any drinks? Uh, I think a cup of ice water. Ice water. Okay, thank also, you. Also, we do have some secret menu. If you like, we can let the chef talk to you. We have some... Secret menu? Yeah. Like what? What's uh, on it? The chef will let get you some surprise if you... Secret menu? There's nothing on here? Yeah, that one just like just a regular menu. We do have some secret. Normally it's like a for the holiday and a, you know special occasion. Oh, is it printed? Uh, it's not a printer. Yeah. Oh, so. Everything in, in his brand, yeah. And let Chef talk to you. Okay. Right. Secret menu. Chef AJ, if you have time, so yeah. please. Oh. Hi, Hi, Chef. So, he said the, the waiter said, oh, this secret menu. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I said, I said, I said, what, what, what's secret menu? Secret menu is, it's what we're famous. Secret menu is the unseen menu. It's the one that you tell me what you feel like having, what your, you know, your favorite, your spicy, not spicy, what you prefer, then I, I make something very unique, special design for all our regulars or high roller VIP, that's what they come in. They don't look at the regular menu, it's good, but this is where I'm not here going in order. It's general things. The secret menu is what, you know, is the, the extra touch, extra fun. The things I make for you that you will never see in anywhere else. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah. But does it cost more? Standard regular price. I don't, we don't, I don't, I don't overcharge you. Any overpriced or marketing you know. or something? Yeah, something market price. I make the 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 concept I do here is a fusions of pan Asian. So so you know I might I might do different spice of like Italian Chinese or French Malay or Malay Indian, Korean Japanese. You know all different. It depends on my customer, where they from. You know what they taste about. You know so then I'll design something very you know new unique fusions. A lot of uh places they kind of confuse they say fusion restaurant you will see Chinese menu Korean menu Chinese menu or Thai or Chinese Vietnamese those are totally separate menu to me our concept my fusion is the, the mix the spices of different culture that's fusion in the food new new age new look new flavor with, with something that people are familiar let me do something for you let me do a surprise menu for you are you sure how much is that gonna cost? Uh, not not very much, like a couple thousand now. Just play, uh, <laughs> not much. Don't worry about, don't worry about price. You you see. Okay, I'll see. Yeah, you you don't have any allergy, right? That's all I need to know. Uh, no, I prefer no dairy. No dairy, okay. Yeah. No dairy, right? spicy, a little bit. I don't make everything very super hot unless you like it. Oh, oh yeah, no no too spicy. No too spicy, right? Yeah, I'll make you server different. I'll make you some. Something, something. Something, small thing, like almost like Michelin style. A little bit, different varieties of special menus. Different steak tartare, different roast in a, a, a lobster and stuff like that. Okay. Yeah? Oh. Sit back and relax, be brave. You, you'll be surprised. Okay, but what, what's, the, what's the, the most I would have to pay for this? For you, yourself, less than 100. Can you, can you make something less than 50? Less than 50? For you, yes. Okay, I'll take something less than 50. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Got it. All right, thank you. Yeah. Wow, guys. You always have to ask for the price. Because if I didn't ask that last part, it would have been less than 100. It would have been like 99, 99.9. .9. And I would have been like, oh my God, that's over my budget. So let's see what less than 50 gets me here at La La Noodles. All right. Okay, so interestingly enough, there is no beef chow fun on the menu here at La La Noodles. 
You would think they would, but I do not see it, guys. Ice water, guys. Ice water. Oh. Okay, thank you. Oh my heavens. That's a grill, Japanese style grill lobster with, uh, you know, touch you know touch grill and then but then i spice it with a kind of thai spice with a you know the flying fish caviar so there's a you know fusions of different techniques and different spice oh. chinese food. try enjoy see Thank with you. a kind of a, a green papaya salad at the bottom mm. Those are, okay mm. enjoy please thank you chef you're welcome okay okay guys let's take a closer look all right, so this is what the chef bought me. I hope this is not all I'm gonna get for my under 50 bucks. It's looking quite fantastic, guys. You heard the description from him about the uh, torching and the caviar and the papaya salad and all that. Something about Thai spices. Wow, guys, the presentation is magnificent. Okay, let's give this a try. So this looks like the type of thing that if I try to like, you know, eat it, it'll fall over. So I'm gonna go with the top first. Here we go. Super tasty little fish egg things. Very good, guys. Very good. I like the way he put the spices on it. It's a, a little bit, they got a Thai flavor. I would give it a 9 out of 10. It's very well flavored. Hmm. Now I just removed the papaya salad from the bottom of it. Let's give that a try. Okay, the papaya salad, you know me, I don't do salad, so, like a seven, well flavored, but you look at vegetables in it. Okay, now the piece of lobster. This is the lobster, guys. Cheers. Well, guys, like a nine and a half. You got such wonderful lobster flavor. A very good seafood flavor. You know, I think it may be partly due to uh, what I may be able to detect as uh, some fish sauce on it. Maybe. That's a really good piece of lobster, guys. 
the texture. You know. It's like done just right. Mm. Now, he sealed it with a torch, which gives like that extra, like, nice flavor that I like. You know how I eat my steaks, like that, like have a little burn parts. Yeah, little burn parts on it. So that's really good. I'm gonna see if I can get the rest of the lobster out of the shell. Oh, and it's a hard shell lobster too, guys. Can't waste any of it, it's so good. And of course, there's gonna be people in the comments, but the poop, but the poop, I don't care, I'll eat the poop. Every last bit, guys. <laughs> so good. So, what do we have here now? Okay, this is another fusion in my questions. This is a steak tartare. It's a uh, Italian Korean. Italians and our uh, concept with Korean spice. You have to taste it to uh, it's real um, gochujang spice flavor with a uh, wasabi fish roll. But then normally they will pair with pita chips or, or uh, uh, toast bread, anything like that sandwich. But we pair with uh, the Indian scallion pancakes. So Pad Thai, so it, uh, that's how you know normally I when when I feel my spice, it's all you know all how it blends and a lot of uh, flavor and textures. So enjoy, try and see. Okay, thank you, yeah. Chef. You're welcome. Hey. Okay, now we're gonna try all that that he said. All I remember is a steak tartare and somehow the bottom is not chips. But we'll take a closer look. Here we go guys. Alright. I got this thing. Oh, let's just start with this thing. Hmm. Pretty darn good guys. It's like a scallion pancake. Like in my world. I don't know what this actually is though. Now, for what I believe is the raw beef, give it a try. It's very nicely spiced. I don't think I've ever eaten raw beef before. Maybe it needs to be put on one of these things. It's really good though. It doesn't really taste like beef. It's like it's really tender. Let's see, let's see. I would say this is an 8. You know, the flavoring is really good. But to be honest, in the back of my mind, this is raw beef, right? So I'm just like... Uh, that kind of takes away from it a little bit, but that's just me.
maybe if I put some soy sauce on it. As you know, I, I, I just enjoy soy sauce. Yeah, it's pretty good. If only he didn't tell me what it was. <laughs> Was I supposed to empty this out onto the plate? That'll make it so much more easy to eat. Oh, heavens. Okay. So good? Yeah. I make this uh, lobster and clam fried rice. But I make it with uh, anchovies uh, spice powder. So oh. very seafood soury. Mm -hmm. A little different. It's very small for you. Try and enjoy and see. Okay. Okay. All right. Thanks. Thank you, Chef. You're welcome. Okay. So, so good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. I never had steak tartare before. I don't yeah. think so. Not at least not in 20 years. Yeah. You know. <laughs> so it's like ah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. This is uh we use uh H uh, black Angus beef. Oh. Beef. So it's very tender. It's almost. A lot of people think it's tuna because it's so creamy. Yeah, oh, that's what yeah. that's what they use. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. The usually the secret menu is you know the best that I have a, a lot of regulars VIP there. They just make appointment. You know with me and depends on what I have for the day and also you know I know that what kind of flavor profile you like, what you prefer, where you're from. So it's almost like every menu is special custom designed for you. Sometimes it's a Malay, Malay theme. Sometimes it's Thai. Sometimes it's you know Korean. Sometimes it's a you know Japanese or Italian or, or French mix. It depends on where you know, where's my you know my you know the, the, the customer from. So it's all custom made. But you know normally they are like tonight in a minute I will have a, a Korean guest from Hawaii. Ten people that yeah they always here regulars. So they are make appointment already 10 o'clock. So it just happens that today I have prepared a lot of stuff for them and then you show up. Oh, okay. So you get to enjoy. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you, Chef. Please. You're welcome. Okay. Enjoy our first. Okay. okay. Next one, I'm going to make you a, a beef is strong enough. Okay? Oh, okay. But it's very Asian style. Oh. Okay. It's something different. You know, you need, that's what, you know, I, I do. The, the unique, the up. I call it in a in a new age, you know, fusions. Yeah, you you you, you enjoy it. Okay, the thank okay. you, chef. You're welcome. Okay. All right, so that explains it. Why when I said the it doesn't taste like beef, you know, he he uh, he explained the why. Interesting. Okay, so let me just finish up the beef and I move on to this here fried rice. Oh yes, yeah, thank you. So here is their fried rice that he mentioned. As you can see, it is done rich man style. You know, a small portion, large plate, a lot of empty space and drizzle with sauce. Boy, this is, I feel really special over here. You know, hope he remembered that I, I told him all I got was 50 bucks. Otherwise I'll be washing dishes. You know, I hear they make you do that. It's either that or they'll take you into the back room like the old days in Vegas. So, it comes with a teeny tiny little claw. Let's try that first.
It's really good, guys. It's packed full of flavor. It's so packed full of flavor that I think it was a claw this big and they used the shrunken head method from the, the cannibals and made it really small somehow. Wow. It gets an eight. Okay. Oh, there's more lobster in it. Okay, I busted open the fried rice. Now you gotta take a look at this, guys. Looks like I'll be using the fork for this one. Now, it is a decent fried rice, I'll give it a, a 7 right now, but it's only because it just needs to be a little more salty. So I'm going to put some soy sauce on it, and we'll see. Hmm. Very decent fried rice. I will give it an 8. Now that I put the soy sauce in it. Mm. I give you our varieties today. Beef is strong enough, but with uh, an Asian style. With uh, I use a chow fan instead of uh, in a pasta, and this still. Filet mignon lightly in a quick coasted, quick deep fry first, you know, with uh, Maggie soy blanc. Yeah, so Asian spice like this is kind of you know Italian fuse. Oh. In Asian, 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 Asian ingredients, Asian spice, but Italian techniques. Oh. So this is this is what you know what, what I think of my fusions. Stop. Right. Oh wow. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Regular menu is good, you know, regular regular menu is popular, but it's uh, all American culture, you know, uh, uh, favorites that I mix and match. And then, but then my flavor profile, my look is totally different from anywhere else. Yeah. Oh. For sure, not the same from Chinatown, that's for sure. <laughs> Please enjoy. Okay. Thank you, Chef. Yes. You're Thank you. You're welcome. All right. And again, that was Chef AJ. Now, I'm gonna quickly finish this, then we'll take a look at this, etc. etc. Alright. Well guys, it appears that I was able to get a beef chow fun after all. Go nuts, right? Go nuts. Who knew? It's like fate. I was like, let me do a beef chow fun review. You know, at the La La Noodle. Oh, it's not on the menu. Oh look, I end up with one anyway. So here's their beef stroganoff chow fun thingy. Okay. So first, the beef. It's exactly like he said it was. A very tender piece of uh, tenderloin, I believe he said it was. Very good. Very good. Got an Asian spice to it. Now, uh, I would just need it to be a little more salty.
No, if I'm not mistaken, I think the beef has been coated in flour or flour-like substance and then deep fried before having the sauce added to it. It got that crunchiness, that glutinous crunchiness type of thing. All right. Excellent quality chow fun noodles. All right, what else does it have in here? Now, it got the leaf that I suspect is the kind of leaf that hides your genitalia, you know, in a Renaissance artwork. I don't know if I'm supposed to eat this. After all, it's been all over the genitals, I, I, you know. I don't know what this is, guys. I still don't know what it is, guys. If I have to give it a guess, I would think that it is a genetically modified organism that is a cross between uh, Prince Oyster Mushroom and Bamboo Shoot. And conch, a blend of those three things. But however, it is good. Seven for the mystery thing. Mm. It does come with bean sprouts, guys, so be warned. But overall, beef stroganoff chow fun. It's something I've never ever had before in my life. Yeah, it has been fried. I think. All right, so over here, now I'm gonna have to tell you the truth, guys. This is an excellent dish, dish-wise, right? I believe that anyone else out there would give it like maybe an 8.5, but it, for me, I have this uh, a mental issue, right? I'm, a, I'm more of a traditionalist. I prefer like chow fun done the way I'm used to having it growing up and everything. So this is um, a departure from the ordinary for me. So I don't know how I feel about this. Now it is like a, an 8.5 dish, tasty and everything, but I'm having all these mental issues, all right? You know, you know how it is? It's like you grew up with beef chow fun a certain way, you know, and now I got beef stroganoff chow fun. Like, it's really good, but it's just not 
beef chow fun, you know? Which is not, it's not. It's beef stroganoff using chow fun noodles, but the chow fun noodles are done like in a beef chow fun fashion that's on the bottom. I, I, I don't know. It, it's the kind of, it makes you think. So, yeah, 8.5, guys. Although it is different. Oh, man, I'm mental. I, uh, my mind's being scrambled right now. Yeah, that tasted like beef chow fun. And that tasted like beef stroganoff. <laughs> All right, guys. I guess I'll call this the end of the video. Whole bunch of people is getting is crowded. They need seats and everything. So thank you for joining me over here at La La Noodles, right past the Italy of Park MGM. And that was Chef AJ. All right, have a good one, guys. So the video that you just saw was an unscripted vlog, right? You know, a vlog of my actual experience as it actually happened to me. So I just want to recap so that you know everyone know what's going on right now i'm a regular working guy obviously as i always say so my budget was 50 bucks i was going to just get the uh, beef chow fun and see how that's like over here at la la noodle at the park mgm right then the waiter came by so oh there's a secret menu you should talk to the chef i'm like secret what's so secretive you know eh. and the next thing you know the chef comes over and then i was like dude you know I only got 50 bucks, so if you can rip out something for 50 bucks, you know, I'll give that a try. Because, you know, they didn't have beef chow fun on the menu. So I was like, all right, I'll see what he got for 50 bucks. Right? Now, he was more than nice. He, you know, did the $120 thing. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for stopping by. And like, today, special price for you. Well, I only charge you for 50. Oh, thank well, you normally, so much. Normally the set was 120. I didn't I wasn't expecting that like that's so nice of him and everything so although I paid 50 bucks that's a hundred and twenty dollar thing so wow guys wow I, I I just got nothing left to say totally shocked never happened to be like before in my life who knew wow I was really expecting just like a fifty dollar thing I was getting worried throughout the middle of the video like Oh my god, I hope he remembered that all I had was 50 bucks. Alright, thanks for watching the video, and remember, New Vegas video every Friday. And of course, obviously, more if I have time to post more. Alright, but at least every Friday.